Okay, so let's try and show you a little bit of practical use of this thing. So say I've got two uh, cables or more entering uh, an area and I want to work out which one goes where. What I can do is at the far end of one of those, um, luckily they're on the floor here, at the far end of one of those I can take the oscillator, make it switch to tone and connect it to one or other of the cords. That might be via a patch panel so you might want to use the uh, the short patch lead or the alligator clips lead if you haven't even terminated the cable at this point. So that's now transmitting. And we'll assume that that's in a different room. But <coughs> when these cables come into another area we need to identify which of these is, is the one we're, we're trying to seek. So all we do, press the on button on here and we can immediately hear there's something on that one, nothing on that one. I've got very low gain here. Turn over there pretty obvious which one's which. If you really wanted to confirm you can turn this down a bit and you can actually do this. Nothing on that one. Definitely that one. Proven. This one is the one you want. For more information on how to use this, especially with the search coil, um, that's more specialist and it's usually to do with uh, use of splitters and the like and tracing the current through the system. So whenever you've got an earthed system such as coax you've got to remember there's going to be no electrostatic field outside the conductor. Here I can access the conductor so I can pick up that voltage but if the whole of the shield of this system is grounded there is nothing to pick up with the electrostatic thing. But what you can do is then trace the current that's flowing from the transmitter towards the nearest grounding point, which could be a, uh, a patch panel or um, a splitter or amplifier device. In which case you place the search coil area along the cable this way and you'll get a peak of signal.